Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now, Doom Eternal is out and I'm having a blast playing it, though I couldn't help but wonder what could we expect performance-wise from a lower than minimum suggested GPU. That's where these components come in. For 60fps at 1080p on the low settings, the game asks for a 3.3GHz i5, I'm thinking a 2500K, or a 3.1GHz Ryzen 3. For this, I'm thinking Ryzen 3 1200, both quad cores. As far as a graphics card is concerned, well, there are a few suggestions. Notably, they all have 3 gigs of VRAM or more. Not surprising when the lowest preset at 1080p uses just over 2 9 gigs. For my tests, I'm using a 2 core i3 6100 with hyper threading, 8 gigs of RAM, and a 2 gigabyte RX 550 from AMD. This was the weakest card that I had that would actually let us launch the game. So, a 2 gig entry level card and a dual core processor. Can they handle this new AAA title? Let's take a look. Now, whether the i3-6100 is slower than an i5-2500K, for example, is debatable, but I chose this CPU as I couldn't help but wonder just how well a dual-core CPU would do. Using my Ryzen 5 would have been too easy. The main focus here though is, I think, the RX 550 and it's 2 gigabytes of VRAM. Starting at the beginning here and you'll notice that there is no MSI overlay or fraps counter today because they don't work with this game, at the time I recorded this anyway. We do have very useful in-game performance metrics though, as you can see, and at 1080p low we were seeing about 30 to 35 frames per second as we made our way through the opening indoor area. I'm using the current recommended AMD driver and after testing with the new optional 20.3.1 driver as well, I found that it made no difference to performance with this card, likely because the VRAM is the primary limitation here. As we moved outdoors, we saw more of a hit to performance and as you can see, we were seeing less than 30 frames per second in this instance. I'm going to have to say that 1080p with the RX 550 probably isn't a wise option, though if you want to, you can lower the resolution scale a little bit. Personally, I'd rather just drop the resolution down to the next available preset instead, that of course being 900p. At 900p then, and I have to say that despite still exceeding the VRAM limit of the card, which occurs even at 720p, the performance was much improved. As you can see by the frame rate in both the top right and top left corners, we were seeing between 40 and 50 FPS most of the time. It's also worth noting that the processor, our i3-6100, was holding up just fine. There were a brief couple of moments when I saw the usage hit 100% on all threads at 720p, but this didn't really happen often at all. I think 900p provides a nice balance between visuals and performance because honestly Doom Eternal still looks good even at low. Really good actually. So then let's move on to the aforementioned 1280x720. This is your best bet at achieving 60fps with a PC like this. It still looks good in my opinion and the closer you can get to 60 frames per second in a first person game the better, especially a fast paced one like Doom. Now it's not a constant 60 frames per second I'll admit but it does feel consistently smooth. Any attempt to try and play this on my older cards failed by the way so no GTX 480 tests in this one I'm afraid. If you do though have a 2GB GPU and it's as powerful or more so than an RX 550, a once $79 or was it £59 card? Well you should be able to run this at lower resolutions just fine. A hyper threaded i3 should also do the trick despite having two physical cores and therefore I would think that a i5 at 3.3GHz namely a 2500K or Ryzen 3 1200 would do just fine as well. But there we have it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Doom Eternal can run on a 2GB GPU and a dual-core processor, despite the VRAM limit being reached at 720p low. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like on it down below. Leave a dislike if you didn't. Let me know what you think of the game so far, because I myself am thoroughly enjoying it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and hopefully I'll see all of you in the next one.